You know the struggle. It's night, you grab your iPhone and boom, your eyes are toasted. Here's the trick. Open control center, touch and hold an empty area. Then tap add a control at the bottom. Search this list for reduced white point and add it. After that, whenever you're in a dark room, you can open control center and tap it. Your display will dim beyond the lowest brightness. And that's just one out of nine iPhone tricks we're about to cover. Here's the next one. To share a screenshot instantly, take one as usual, but instead of tapping Tapping the thumbnail, touch and hold it. This brings up the share sheet immediately, letting you send the screenshot without any extra steps. And here's something a lot of people miss. In the suggested people row, you can touch and hold on someone and select suggest less so they appear less frequently. We have all been there. You accidentally erased a message in WhatsApp or messed something else up and wished you had an undo button. Good news, on iPhone you actually do. Simply tap the screen with three fingers to bring up this edit menu. From there, tap the undo button to restore your text. And here another handy three finger gesture. Select your text, then pinch in with three fingers to copy it, switch to another app and pinch out with three fingers to paste it. It's a fast and different way to copy and paste. If your screenshots or PDFs are filled with messy errors or shaky circles, this next tip is for you. Take a screenshot and tap it to open markup. To draw a net arrow, sketch a line, pull back a little at the end and hold it for a second. And it will snap into a perfect arrow. For a clean circle, simply draw it, hold it for a moment and it will also snap into a perfect circle. The same works for rectangles, triangles and more. Let's see if you've heard of this one before. Open the clock app and choose timer. From there, tap when timer ends and scroll all the way down until you see stop playing. Select that, tap set in the top right corner and then start the timer. When the timer finishes, playback of video, podcast or music will stop automatically and your iPhone will lock. This is especially handy if you're setting limits for kids. Speaking of kids, there's an even more practical feature called guided access. In the settings app, scroll down and tap on accessibility. Then scroll all the way down to the last section and tap guided access. This locks the iPhone into a single app. To see how it works, open any app and triple click the side button. That brings up the guided access menu. At the bottom, tap on session settings. Here you can disable the side button and the volume buttons. On the motion, you can block things like shake or rotation. On the keyboard, you can turn off the software keyboard and you can even disable touch so the screen won't respond at all. At the bottom, you'll also find a time limit option. Once you're ready, tap start and enter your code again. Now you're locked into that app. You can't even open control center. To end guided access, triple click Click the side button once more and enter your passcode. By default Spotlight doesn't work inside apps. But here's a quick way around. First open the shortcut app on your iPhone. In the top right corner tap the plus sign to create a brand new shortcut. From the list of available actions scroll or search until you find search and then add it. That's it. Next, go to the settings app. Scroll down until you see action button and tap on it. Swipe through the different options until you reach shortcuts and select it. Then tap my shortcuts and choose the search shortcut you just created. From now on, whenever you're inside any app, just press the action button and spotlight will appear instantly. If you like this one, you probably enjoyed my video on Apple ecosystem tricks or this one. See you next time. Bye bye.